Alright, how is everybody doing? We are outdoors here today. We're going to do a little review outside. It is about 92 degrees out, but I don't like being stuck inside if I can be outside here and, and doing stuff. So I'm out here by the chickens on my stump with my nice little round that I got at a, a, a yard sale last week for $5 and thought I'll just come out here and make a video outdoors today. Um, now what we got for us today is the Buck 290 Rush. Uh, this has been sent over to us from Mr. Boston Blade Reviews. Now this right here is a spring assisted opening little blade. Now if we look it does have the lock on the back of it here and you guys excuse me my fingers don't work too well so I use my middle finger there to kind of unlock it. We got two different ways to open it up. We have the thumb studs and of course we got the old flipper here and, and, and I want you to watch how quick this thing moves. <laughs> look at that fellas. We got this skeletonized frame. It's made out of aircraft aluminum. Now I do know it is a 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum that this frame is made out of. We got the liner lock and of course it does have the 420 high carbon uh, high carbon steel for your blade here. And guys this right here, I'm going to use the thumb studs this time. Look at that. This thing right here is crazy cool. Got a liner lock there. Pull her down and we, of course we can always lock her in position again just to keep it safe while it's in our pocket. You know we do have our pocket clip on the side here. Now it does look like that is for righties only with tip up carry option we have here. Now we'll just do a little measurements. I brought my little ruler out here. If we look at her she's about three and three quarters inches long. Well, if we do the overall length here, let's open her up again. You got to unlock it. Of course, I ain't got nothing. My index finger is all tore up, so I really can't use that. Fully open. We look at her. 6.25. Let's look at her overall cutting length here. She's going to come in about two and, well, two and a half inches for cutting length here. But guys, this right here is just a slick little blade. I just love how fast, like look how quick that works. And of course you can close it one-handed as well. Now the only issue I have is with the lock and that's just because of my fingers. You know, I gotta use my middle finger because of course, because I'm right-handed and I, my index finger, I crushed it so it nearly doesn't work that well. But you know, nothing wrong with using the middle finger. You know, one-hand manipulation. I can lock it, I can unlock it. So guys, I have issues with my index finger and I can still use this blade. Now let's get a weight on this thing. I did bring the scales out here. Let's get rid of our ruler. We don't need that anymore. Let's just see what she weighs here. We already got her on ounces. 2.35 ounces. Now we'll compare that to the pair of three. So it's 3.4 ounces. So this right here is definitely lighter. That aircraft grade aluminum, I think, really helps out with that. Now, again, I'm going to open her up one more time. Man. Let's look at that. That is definitely something that is fast operating. This would be a, a great little... Like, say you were carrying your, your, your Buck 112 or your Buck 110 on your side. You could have this also down in your pocket. That's what I usually do. I usually carry two blades on me at all times. This would be a great little secondary carry. You, know, you can get it out. You can manipulate it fast. You know, for any work that you're needing done, if you're needing to do something one-handed, so you get your other hand tied up holding something, pull it out, unlock it, boom. Now we haven't used the thumb studs much, so let's use those. <laughs> Man, she just moves so quick, moves so fast. But yeah, you can't beat that. That right there is a slick moving little blade. Now if we look, we do got the Buck USA on it there. We got the, of course, the model number, the 290 with the down arrow. I forget what year that is. But you know, you can always go on Buck Buck's website and they got that all that information for you. We'll look at the pile side. It's just slick. There's nothing on it. No billboarding. You just have the Buck USA on this side. I believe this knife right here, if you were to buy it, I'm going to guess it's going to be around... Anywhere between fifty and sixty-five dollars. I don't think uh, Buck has them on their website. You may have to get this, you know, second-handed. 
but you know it looks like the going prices for these are anywhere between fifty and, and sixty five dollars so guys just look at that and I do apologize if we have any wind noise but you know I'm outside I want to be outside tomorrow we're going to the river that'll even be better just went and got my fishing license picked up a gift to give away for uh, for happy hour live chat tonight we got thrifty on tonight this and of course this this video is going to come out after thrifty's on but you know don't forget about happy hour live chat every saturday 6 p.m eastern 5 p.m central and usually we do have some stuff to give away uh this this giveaway i picked up an actual little gerber usa blade at royal king when i was getting my uh, fishing license so we'll see who wins that and you guys will you guys may have already watched it but Guys, just look at this thing. Look at this skeletonized frame. That's one thing I really dig is the skeletonized frame. Nothing's getting in there. So you don't have to worry about anything getting in there, your skin or any fingers in there to get cut. It just helps with the overall weight of the blade. And again, you know, if you, you got an index finger that works great, you're not gonna have any issues getting her locked in. I could probably do it with this finger. Let's just see. Yeah, I can. So I'm getting I'm getting better with it. Getting better with it. Let's use a thumb stud. Oh yeah. Slick, fellas, slick. Hey guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh to let me know what you think about this blade. You know, come along for the ride. Don't forget about our happy hour live chat. We do every every Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. But guys, subscribe to my channel. You got all kinds of knife content over here. We got the lives that are happening every weekend. And I usually put out about three full length videos per week. So guys, stay sharp, stay strong. And again, thanks Mr. Boston Blade Reviews for sending this over for us to review. All right guys, have a good one.